everybody. Today's rapid review is going to be on Comics Tribe book called Sync. A uh, little backstory on this. Sync was actually a Kickstarter, which is what most of the comics are for Comics Tribe, uh, the first volume at least, that's called Welcome to Glasgow. Uh, I happened to miss it. I got the uh, first issue when they were doing uh, the free issues that they kind of send out to get people interested in it. Uh, I read it, I loved it, I thought it was awesome. Uh, luckily enough, not too long ago, I was looking around our local comic shop and I picked up Robert Kirkman's Die, 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 which I hope to review for y'all soon. Um, I was walking around, you know, checking out other things, and I happened to come across not only Sync Volume 1, but Sync Volume 2. Unfortunately, I put down Die, Die, Die. Sorry, Robert Kirkman. Trust me, I'm going to pick that up soon. Uh, bought both copies of those, sat down to read them, could not put it down, wrote both volumes that same day. Uh, now, the first volume, Welcome to Glasgow, like I said, uh, man, <laughs> it, it it's such a great story. It's like an anthology, but every, you know everything ties together. Uh, I, I'm only going to talk about the first story that's in the book. All right, more stories to come later. But the first one starts out with a guy named Alan. He's uh, at a bar with his friends, and he's talking about how Glasgow is just the greatest city in the world, and they should be proud of it. Uh, you know, really just going on and on about how he has that Glasgow Glasgow grit in his blood, and uh, you know, just really proud. And you know, people should be proud of who they are. But. Uh, him and his friends leave the bar. He decides he's going to walk to the bus alone. Well, there's a story in, in Sync that uh, there's a blue van full of clowns that will kidnap you and torture you and stuff like that. And he doesn't believe, Alan doesn't believe any of that. So he starts walking and he notices that he misses his bus. Well, he, he runs it down and he tries to get the... The bus driver to open the door and the bus driver keeps repeating full up full up full up full up and won't let him in well alan turns his back and you see a shot of inside the bus and everybody's dead like there's just blood everywhere everyone's dead so he goes to make a phone call try to get a ride his phone dies so he continues walking and there's a uh, homeless guy on the street that basically tells him, mate, you better walk faster. And he starts getting a little weirded out, starts walking faster, uh, happens upon this other guy. Now, in this book, there's a gang. And the, this is what the gang is called. Uh, you start off as a dickhead. And they call them this because they wear condoms on their heads. Like, it's really strange, but whatever. <laughs> well, in order to progress in this game, you have to have a witness watch you and tape you do something really messed up, either harming a person, a really mean, awful prank, things like that, and then you can move up. Well, <clears throat> he, this guy, it's, it's a very weird conversation because he, he's all friendly to Alan at first, and then he kind of like, I'm, he says, I'm fox hunting. And he goes, don't laugh at me. And Alan's not laughing. He's just standing there trying to be polite back. And then he pulls a knife on Alan. Alan knocks the knife away and, and starts running. Well, while he's running, there are other members of this gang. And one of them just gets a text that says fresh meat. Alan inadvertently has run into a group of the dickheads and they're going to use him to uh, to videotape. They were going to use him as a witness at first but instead he's going to be the victim while there are other witnesses around. Well they go to attack him and that's when for me one of the coolest anti-heroes and I, I really hope we get to see more of this guy. He's, he's more prominently, prominently featured in Sync Volume 2 but his name is Mr. Dig. This guy is amazing. Oh, mate, like one of the most brutal anti-heroes that I, I think I've ever seen. He wears a fox mask and carries a shovel. 
And he basically has a line of, you didn't corner this boy in here, I cornered you in here. Kind of like a little bit of a take on the Rorschach line. I'm not locked in here with you, you're locked in here with me. And proceeds to just brutally murder these guys with the shovel. And, and Alan gets away. Or so you think. Alan starts walking. You know, he's not really running, but he's really walking kind of, kind of fast. And he just so happens to see a blue van. And the blue fan passes him up, screeches to a halt, slams it in reverse, opens the door, and it's full of clowns. And these are evil, nasty-looking clowns. And these clowns pull him into the van, and they give him what's called a Glasgow smile, which is basically, think Heath Ledger's Joker, except there's no stitches. They just cut his grin open from from here to here, from cheek to cheek, like it's, it's nasty. And they have this, uh, this clown nose, but the clown nose has nails. So <clears throat> they put this clown nose, <clears throat> clamp it on his nose, and then they gas him with la like an overdose of laughing gas. And that's how I'm going to end it. Uh, that's the first story in this anthology book. There's, there's a lot of great stories couple more things that have Mr. Dig in it. Like I said, he, he's a main character it, for me in the second volume, which I'll do that at a later date. Uh, every character in this book, for me, is well-written. Many diverse characters. Uh, check out, when I do my review of Sync 2, there's a big spoiler, and you find out who Mr. Dig is. They reveal his identity, and it, it blew my mind. Uh, once again... Comics Tribe knocks it out of the park with this book. Um, I Recently, if you watch my unboxing video, I got the Red 10 Volume 2. And let me tell you, every guess that I had about that book is wrong. I will talk more about that when I do that review. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you get a chance, if, there's, if you get on the website, you probably can still pick up at least Volume 1. Check your local comic book shop. They, they might have them in a hidden place that, you know... You wouldn't have noticed if you hadn't walked over there. Uh, it's just a white book. I'll put the cover up here. Right there. And uh, like I said, if you're into horror anthology, just really twisted stuff, this right here is a book for you. It's, for, it's definitely for mature readers. Uh, that's going to do it for me, Tots. Hope you have an awesome day. We'll see you next time.